I once knew this man that had the worst attitude of almost anyone that I've ever been around. He would find and see and dwell on the bad in anything, constantly. You know, when you do that in mind, it grows and grows and grows and grows, and pretty soon it takes over. I can remember a meeting with this man, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if he only realized how bad his attitude was. And I can remember he said he was going to take a walk in some of the gardens of our church facility, and, and I prayed in my office that he would have an awakening of God. And he came back. I'll never forget the day, and he sat there on my sofa in my office, and he said, you know, I realize that I have a very bad attitude. Well, I was sitting there, and, but inside, I was jumping up and down in, in celebration that he finally came to the conclusion that 99% of his problems were inside of him not in the environment outside of him. And that's a big one for us, and it takes a spiritual maturity to realize that and to grow through it. Well, my friend did, and he was able to take personal responsibility and change. It didn't happen overnight. It never does. But he was able to change over time, and I saw within a very short time of a year, a year and a half, a completely changed man with completely changed experiences happening to him because he was sending forth a different energy to life. It is all in the end about your attitude. It says in Matthew 13, Verse 16, blessed are your eyes for they see. Like so much of the Bible, this is talking in many different levels. It's not your physical eyeballs and what you're focusing on. It is your whole perception inside of yourself. On what you see, do you see the bad or do you see the good? Do you see the emptiness or do you see the possibilities? Do you see the glass is half full or half empty? Well, that's the whole gist of the matter of life. And success in life is a, is a lot more than obtaining a lot of material goods or finances. You live in here. And if you're happy in here, then you're successful and you are truly rich. Letting go and letting God's light shine in and through us and for us helps us. It helps us to be more discerning of ourselves and our attitudes, to help us to see ourselves as we really are. Because often we're blind to the way we are. Other people aren't, but we are. Our prayer today is, Lord I would know myself. I would be more discerning of myself and my attitudes with your help. Well, today, we pray for a good attitude. Of some things, we can be very sure. We are children of God. We know that God loves us, all of us. Every one of us have divine possibilities. All of us have much to give. And all of us have much growing to do, no matter how far we have come. If we desire to make a change in our attitudes, to look at life in a new way, through the Spirit of God with us, we have an ability to do so. If we are inspired to take some positive action, we can be sure that through the power of God, we will be successful. 
it's not our own power alone, but we have to contribute to it by being a conduit of God's positivity, God's love, without blocking it off with our own emotions. We can become the person we long to be. Isn't that what this is all about? To become the person that we long to be. There is always yet more in us, more greatness than we have yet expressed. And as we pray for spiritual insight, we are illumined. And we see ourselves in a brand new light. I pray that you do today. And I pray that you are infilled with an attitude that is just going to put you on top of the mountain. And others with you. God bless you.